YouTube, how you doing? Today I'm gonna to be bringing you a video on how to do a very simple stream setup. Today's video is gonna focus on console streaming. Um, I'll be making a separate video on PC streaming as well as a more advanced uh, stream setup where we do stuff like set up chat bots and alerts, animated overlays, stuff like that. Um, but this video is gonna focus on mainly console streaming. So let me move this monitor out of the way real quick. There's going to be two main components to what we're doing here. First is video and second is audio. So for the video portion, it's really simple. I'll get it out of the way real quick. Uh, you're just going to have a capture card for me. I've got a um, capture card that I put into the motherboard of my PC. I use the Elgato 4K60 Pro. Um, so you can buy one like that. They also make a 1080p 60 frame per second one that you can put in as well. Um, or a lot of people have desktop ones that just sit on your desktop or on top of your console. And those are fine as well. Uh, Aver Media makes them. Elgato makes them. There's a few other brands as well that are popular. doesn't really matter. They all do the same thing. Uh, different features and stuff, but they're all mainly the same thing. And they're all set up the same way, which is the most important part. And you're going to run an HDMI cable from the back of your console to the end port of the capture card and then you're going to run another HDMI cable from the out port of your capture card into either the monitor or the TV or whatever it is that you're gaming on. So that's the video portion, pretty simple. For the audio portion, I use an Astro MixAmp TR Pro, but any MixAmp will work. Um, I have one right here actually made by Turtle Beach. Basically the same thing. Uh, a lot of people use mixer boards. If you've got an XLR mic or anything like that, you're going to have to use either like a Go XLR or a mixer board or something like that. Um, but this is the simplest and easiest and most efficient way to set it up in my opinion is just do a mix amp. So I'll turn the camera around so you can see here. Um, the mix amp TR Pro you can put it into either PC or console mode. Mine's an Xbox. If you buy a PS4 version, it'll say PS4 right there. Just make sure it's in the console mode, the selector switch. Other than that, setup is not that bad. Um, you've, I've only got three cables here, as you can see. The first is an optical cable. You're gonna do an optical cable from the back of your console to this port right here on your mix amp. The second one is going to be a USB port from the back of the console or the front of the console, doesn't matter, into the USB port on your mix amp. And then the final cable is going to be a stream cable. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack that's going to go straight from your um, stream port on your mix amp to the mic in port on your PC. And that's basically it. Just make sure it's in console mode. If your mix amp even has a mode like that, make sure it's in console mode. Optical from the Xbox to the mix amp, USB from the from the console to the mix amp, and then a 3.5 millimeter jack to um, the PC mic in port from your mix amp. And that's basically it. That will ensure that you have audio and video running to your PC and at this point, we're gonna switch over to the software side of things where um, I'll discuss uh, picking out whatever stream software you wanna use as well as setting up uh, the basics of your stream. All right, guys, and this is where we're gonna pick up right here. So the first thing you're obviously gonna to wanna to do is pick a streaming software that you're gonna use. Um, the main three I have open right here, OBS, Streamlabs OBS, and then XSplit. Those are the main three that people use. Um, the thing about XSplit is it's, it's as far as feature sets, it's almost identical to Streamlabs OBS. There's a few things that you can do on it that you can't do on other platforms, but by and large, it's gonna be um, basically just a matter of do you wanna pay for this service or not? Because this costs a monthly fee um, or a yearly fee you can pay by the month or the year or whatever. But this does cost money and that's why most people don't use it and it's it's not really necessary because these other two options are free and do 99% of what XSplit is going to do. 
um, you've got OBS and then Streamlabs OBS is essentially the same thing. But in my opinion, I, I think most people's opinion, it's it's so much easier to use than regular OBS. It's much more user friendly. Um, so I'm going to close out OBS because this is what I use. This is what anybody I know that streams uses. And once you download um, Streamlabs OBS from that website, this is what you're going to get right here. I'm going to minimize my mini feed right here as low as I can. Um, so this is what you're going to get, right? The first thing you're going to want to do um, is come over here to the settings. And remember, this is the basic um, tutorial of just real quickly how to set up a stream. I'll go into more detail into some of these settings in the advanced tutorial. But for this right here, we're just going to go to stream. As you can see here, I'm set to stream to Murph Rags. And um, basically when, you know, I'm already logged in here, but normally you'd see a space for like a key, a stream key. And the way that you're going to get that stream key is you're going to go to Twitch. You're going to go to your settings. And then you're going to come right here, your channels and videos, and your stream key, your primary stream key is going to be right here. Now I can show it. I'm not going to do that because if I show it, um, you don't want to give anybody your stream key because anyone with your stream key can stream to your channel. Um, so you're just going to get hit copy right here. And now it's been copied. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to paste it in right here and it's going to link up to Twitch and then you'll see this right here with your login info. That's the first thing you're going to do. The second thing you're going to do is come down to output and this is where the bulk of the information is. There's a simple mode you can go to. I'm going to stay on the advanced because I don't want to mess up any of the settings that I have. Um, you'll probably be able to just go to the simple settings. Let me see here. See if that changed anything doesn't appear to change anything anyway so I'll show you guys a simple mode so video bitrate this is going to be overall the bitrate you're streaming to Twitch or Mixer whatever you're streaming to and this is going to affect the quality greatly so Twitch for example um, limits their bitrate to non-partners to 6000 so me upping it past this isn't going to do anything for me if I was a partner, I think you can negotiate into your partner contract a little bit of a bigger um, bit rate, which is why some of those big time streamers have, you know, streams that just seem to look a little bit more crisp than others. They probably have eight or 10,000 video bit right here, but we're going to leave it at 6,000 because it's not going to let me go past that anyways on Twitch. It'll start messing everything up. Um, so you're going to put in what you as high as you can here is what you're aiming for without exceeding 6,000. And to determine how much bitrate and bandwidth you have, you're going to go to speedtest.net and you're going to run a speed test. As you can see, I have very good internet. Um, what you're really going to be paying attention to is your upload speed here, which it'll run in a second. And you're going to pay attention to this number here. I'm lucky enough to have Verizon Fios gigabyte internet here. Um, if you are in the hundreds for this number, you have nothing to worry about at all. In fact, if you're in the tens, if you're in like 10, 20, 30 range, you have nothing to worry about. What you need to worry about here is if you're in like the single digits. If you have like 8.5, 6.5, certainly like 2 or 3, um, something like that is when you need to worry because 6,000 for the bitrate is the equivalent of six megabits per second. So if you have a six here for your upload, you can't stream at a 6,000 bit rate because that means 100% of your upload speed is going towards your stream. Everything's gonna lag, stutter, spike, it might freeze up on you. And you have to remember too, you're playing a video game, that's what you're streaming. So if you're playing a video game and you're using all of your bandwidth to stream, 
you have nothing left to actually play with. So now you're going to be lagging in game. You might, you know, crash out of the lobby, stuff like that. So what you want to do there is get a hold of your um, upload speed. If you're at, I would say, 15 or above for your upload, then you can throw a 6 in here, 6,000, no problem. Even if you're at 10,000, or excuse me, if you're at 10 megabits per second, you're probably going to do okay with 6. Um, my general rule of thumb, if you're under 10 megabits per second, is to basically cut your video bitrate in half and start there. So, for example, if you have an 8 upload speed, right, if you're sitting at 8, I would recommend a 4,000 bit right here. If you have a 5, I would recommend 2,500. If you are at, you know, if you're sitting at like a 7.5 bit rate, I'd probably just throw it on like 3 or 4,000. And you can adjust it from there. If you're noticing that you're not streaming in game, or you're not lagging in game, and you're not lagging for your, uh, for your video quality for your stream, you can up it a little bit just fine. So I would use half your bit rate here. If you're only at 2 or 3 megabits per second upload, you're probably not going to be able to, to stream at all. Um, you can try it, you can give it a shot, you never know. Um, but anything below like 2500 here for video bitrate is just not going to look very good at all. Um, and if you even, even if you're sitting at like a 3000 upload speed, right? So a 3 megabit per second upload speed, and you've got 2500 here, that leaves 500 for your game. So I would say if you're sitting at 2 or 3 megabits per second upload, unfortunately, um, it, streaming is probably is just not going to work for you. Even if you're in the 4, 5, 6 range, um, you're going to be you're going to be okay, but you're going to have to limit your um, not only your bit rate, but you're probably going to have to limit your like um, resolution output as well. So assuming you've got the speed down, you've got your video bit rate in here. Um, the next option is your encoder. 90% of you are going to use software X9, X264. This is basically using your computer processor to stream. Hardware NVENC is only available, as far as I know, for NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card and your processor and your computer is trash, frankly, you can use hardware NVENC. That's going to be fine for you. It limits some of your options. The quality isn't going to be quite as good as what would be attainable with your CPU but you can do it that way. But assuming you've got even a halfway decent processor, this is what you're going to use right here. Audio bitrate, I think by default is 160. I bump it up to 192 just because I like the little extra audio quality for my stream. And that extra, you know, what is that? 32 um, out of your 6,000 bitrate is not going to affect your visual quality at all. So those would be my recommended settings. Um, come down here to video, and this is where your resolution is going to be. So, again, if you're streaming it, I would say anything less than about a four or five thousand bit rate, you're going to want 720p here. Um, if you are capturing in 1080p, you can use the downscale to downscale it to whatever you want, like 720p or even lower. Um, this by default I think is going to be bilinear or bicubic. Don't worry about this. This is this is one of those options. You know, don't copy everything you see here because some of these options are going to be discussed in the advanced tutorial. Whatever your default settings are when you open up Streamlabs is going to be what you're going to want to use. Um, you can adjust the resolution. If your bitrate isn't good enough, you're obviously going to want to log in here, um, put in your bitrate. If your bitrate's under four or five thousand, I recommend coming over here and downscaling your quality a little bit. Um, and that's really all you're going to be doing. Um, also in video here, you can see you could put in your FPS. So you're going to stick with 30, unless you're streaming at like five or six thousand, and then you can come down here to 60. Um, but you're probably going to leave that at default for now for 30 until you figure out, you know, how your stream looks. And that's ultimately what, what you're going to be paying attention to. Once you stream to Twitch, you want to view that stream. Um, try to make sure you have your uh, your Twitch account set up to record when you stream. 
and what that's going to do is it's going to save a copy of your stream when you go offline and you can go back and rewatch your stream at a later point and make sure that you're not lagging make sure the volume is all there and stuff like that so setting settings wise that's good right there that's all you're going to do now your settings are set up you could realistically right here hit go live and be good to go um, but now we're gonna you know bring in all of your sources so that you actually have something to stream and this is is very easy uh, if you remember the setup we did at the beginning of the video as far as you know hooking everything up from your Xbox um, to your mix amp and then to your computer that's where this is gonna come in so you're gonna hit this little plus sign right here and that's gonna bring up all of the stuff that you can add to your stream there's three things for this basic tutorial that we're gonna bring in the first is going to be a video cap and you're going to come in here and it's going to give you a selection of everything that is coming into your computer. For me, my game cap is going to be the 4K60 Pro. For you, it may be something else, but this is going to be what your game cap is from your um, Elgato or Aver Media or whatever your capture card is. And you're just going to hit Done. And I'll turn on my Xbox so you can see that that's working. Okay. The second thing you're going to add is another video capture device. You switch it up and right here you're going to add your webcam. For me that's a C922. And then the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to bring in your audio and that is coming from your stream port. If you remember um, earlier on we put um, we put the stream port in to your mic in on your computer, right? So you're going to come here audio input capture, not output, this is the input into your computer. And you're going to find your microphone jack, which for me is right here. And there you go. Over here to the right you can see your mixer options for your sound. Right now I'm going to have everything muted except for my audio input capture right here. What this little bar does right here is this adjusts the sound um, to your stream if you're you know you can go all the way up if you're a little too loud you can bring this down I know from personal experience that I'm gonna be at negative 13 decibels right here that's gonna be the perfect sound quality for me for my stream um, and that's it everything's set up you can obviously move your webcam around to wherever you want it you can resize it um, if you double click any of these options you can't do anything with microphone you can do a lot of stuff with this, but I, I don't recommend that you do. I, I never do. Just leave it. And then webcam. The only thing I'm going to do here is fix my resolution because it's kind of wacky right now. I'm going to go to 1080p. You're going to want to match the output frames per second. That's just going to match it to whatever your stuff was. And then now my webcam is properly shaped. And I can size it and bring it wherever I want. Now there's other stuff you can do here, obviously. In fact, um, I'll bring you over to my Modern Warfare one and see here, this is this is a lot more in depth, a lot more detailed. I have animated webcam stuff. I have all of my followers, subscriber information here. I have socials popping up in the corner, stuff like that. Um, I'll explain how to do all of this during the advanced tutorial. But for right now, all you need to know is this right here. So really, this was a lot more long-winded than I wanted to do. I was hoping to make this video in like three minutes and show you what to do. It's a lot more simple uh, than probably what it even sounded like because I had to really kind of explain everything that's going on here. But really, it's easy. Download Streamlabs OBS, open it up, go to Twitch, copy your um, stream key, come over here to your settings, enter your stream key, connect, output, put in uh, whatever you're comfortable with, with your video bitrate, as high as you can go without, you know, exceeding the um, the bitrate that you have for your upload speed. And then if you need to, you're going to fix your resolution. That's it. And then you're just adding three quick sources. Not a big deal. So I hope this was helpful to everybody. I know for me, especially the audio portion of everything, um, really kind of stressed me out when I started streaming because I, I couldn't figure it out. 
other people would explain kind of like bits and pieces for the audio um but i found everything either i would get you know my party chat but not my own voice to come through um, usually that's a product of having your video capture device like this unlocked because what this is doing is this is bringing in all of the sound twice so you want to have all that muted make sure only your audio input captures unmuted uh, if you want desktop audio again we'll cover that in the other tutorial but you can open that up as well um, but hopefully this helps somebody you know be able to set up their stream as easy and basic as possible um, it's really not that difficult assuming your computer is halfway decent assuming your upload speed is is acceptable um, you know this is a pretty easy process just make every, sure everything's set up on the hardware side set up on the software side and that's really it you'll be good to go um, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can um, if you want to come by my twitch ask me anything over there you can uh, twitch.tv slash merfrags I'll put it in the description down below as well um, I'm streaming over there like five six nights a week usually around 9 p.m. Eastern um, I have no problem if you guys come over there and as long as I'm not in the middle of a GB match or anything like that I can answer your questions help you out get your get your stream set up so hope this helps somebody out um, hope you guys enjoyed the video YouTube we'll catch you later